What does a Sony Walkman, a Simon IBM phone, and this lens all have in common? Well, this lens hasn't been taken by Apple yet, but all three things kicked off of a revolution and renaissance of innovation and practicality that's unknown before. Join us on this episode of Beyond the Specs as we investigate how the Surrey 50mm 1.33 anamorphic lens kicked off a renaissance of anamorphic filmmaking forever. Hey there, welcome back to Beyond the Specs, where we delve deep into the gear that fuels our creative journeys. Today, we're diving into the revolutionary world of anamorphic lenses with a lens that changed the game. The Suri 1.33 anamorphic f1.8 50mm lens. Now, Suri claims the throne as one of the most affordable anamorphic lenses for everyone. This compact marvel is designed for widescreen films and cinema's coveted 2.41 format, all while flaunting a featherlight design when made with precision in Germany using short glass elements, which is their own poetic words. But here's the context. The Suri 50mm lens was one of the pioneers that kickstarted the modern anamorphic lens renaissance we see today. It's not just about the specs, it's about what it represents. And this lens made anamorphic cinematography smaller, lighter, and more accessible to the modern filmmaker. So whether you're a seasoned pro keeping up with the tech or a new hobbyist trying to Google what all these numbers mean, join us as we go beyond the technical details to give you the practical knowledge that will determine if these lenses are the right ones for you. Now, sidebar, while this video will cover the review of why we like using the lens, we've made an additional video that demonstrates how we use this lens. And if you're interested in seeing some of the cool content we captured, feel free to pause here and check out that video next. In the early days of cinema, lenses were a clunky, expensive affair, far from the sleek, compact companions we know today. As cinema glass evolved, we witnessed a transformation in shape and form factor. Lenses shed their weight, size, and cost, becoming more accessible to filmmakers while maintaining a high quality standard. But one area of optics remained elusive for the average filmmaker, anamorphic lenses. These optical gems were not only pricey, but also chunky reserved mainly for professional sets, and while you could mimic the anamorphic look, achieving it authentically seemed like a distant dream for the average filmmaker. And then, like a beacon of light, the Suri 50mm anamorphic lens emerged. A small, compact, lightweight wonder tailor-made for filmmakers, compatible with mirrorless cameras. And this ignited an era of anamorphic innovation. Soon we saw a wave of modern cinema anamorphics in the market. From the Dizio Pavos to the Atlas Orions and the birth of lightweight anamorphics like the Lawa and Anamorphs. And sidebar, this is why I was so excited when my team gave me one of these bad boys. My team sent me this box during Corona time, so to my team, stay safe, love you guys, and you know, let's just get down to it and see what's inside. <laughs> Kevin, I love you, man. Kevin, I love you, I owe you. Oh my God. For those of you who don't know, this lens is something that I've had my eye on for a while. And let's open this thing. Let's get going. I cannot wait. The Siri lens. So look at this thing. I'm super excited. Look at how nicely wrapped it is. Vacuum sealed. Let's open this baby up. Let's get it going. I just want to put this on a camera. I'm also really, really bad at opening packages. That's why I use a knife and wildly. Oh, look at this. And look at the mess I'm making. I don't care, I am just excited. Now, nice packaging. Look at this lens. It is a beauty. Focus ring is super smooth. Aperture ring. Aperture ring's a little bit small, but it's smooth. In the box here, you'll see some instructions because you need to make sure you know everything that your lens is and what it comes with and it also has a really nice nice carrying case i'm excited to shoot with this and i want to talk about it a little bit more micro four thirds mount right there and the piece of the resistance anamorphic lens it's a 1.33 squeeze look at that nice oval shape you're gonna get some nice oval bokeh right there and then you can see the rectangular shape of the lens. It has a nice coating. This is a great lens for both shooting all of your gorgeous filmic content, but just being able to film anamorphic and get that, you know, cinematic look. The Suri 1.33 anamorphic F1.8 50mm lens sports an MFT mount, possessing a unique form factor that defies conventional anamorphic standards. 
It weighs 560 grams or about one pound, and without a lid, it's about 106 millimeters. Its compact size makes it an ideal companion for gimbals, so stark contrast to traditional anamorphics like the Happy SLR Magic Anamorphics. One standout feature of this lens is its 1.33D squeeze, a key factor that unlocks a range of aspect ratios, reminiscent of classic cinematic styles. Think about those iconic films with their anamorphic magic. Alien, Blade Runner, La La Land to name a few, and you'll start to grasp the artistic possibilities that this lens offers to the average lens enthusiast. When it comes to bokeh, another quintessential anamorphic trait, the Suri doesn't disappoint. Oval-shaped bokeh highlights the image, especially in highlights, bestowing the classic anamorphic charm. But what truly sets this lens apart is its quality. It's sharp, it delivers excellent image quality, and all this comes at an astonishingly affordable price of around $500. This lens proves that you don't have to break the bank to enjoy top-tier anamorphic imagery. Here's the thing. The Suri 50mm is not just about its exceptional features. It represents a pivotal moment in the cinematic timeline. It's the lens that kickstarted the renaissance of modern accessible anamorphic lenses for contemporary filmmakers. Suri made it accessible by making it affordable, which the brand boldly states on its site. And while Suri originally reached only one anamorphic lens, due to its popularity of the product, they've since expanded to a full set, while it still remains budget-friendly and in delivering outstanding results. Furthermore, the groundbreaking Suri lens prompted an arm race for the compact anamorphic lens. Manufacturers like Lao responded with Enamomorphs, which are now the most renowned compact S35 anamorphic lens set available. The Suri 50mm isn't just a lens, it's a catalyst for change in the world of anamorphic cinematography. It's a symbol of innovation and the enduring pursuit of cinematic excellence, of democracy! So as you consider adding this lens to your arsenal, remember that it's more than just glass. It's a piece of filmmaking history. In the grand tapestry of filmmaking, this lens occupies a unique place. They bridge the gap between those who've had to settle for faking the anamorphic look and those who've had to splurge exorbitant sums of money for the real deal. But who exactly is this lens for? First and foremost, they're for the filmmaker who's yearning to embark on an anamorphic journey. These lenses stand as the most affordable entry point for the authentic anamorphic look, without sacrificing the quality. And this lens is great for filmmakers who want a lightweight lifestyle at a low price point. But if you're looking for something more superior and don't mind splurging on the cost, the Lawa Nanomorphs might be worth looking into. In essence, this lens gained our applause for sparking the renaissance of successful anamorphic cinematography, even if they aren't the most renowned or superior. They've made the elusive anamorphic look attainable, and they've empowered filmmakers to explore the cinematic world of anamorphic without emptying their pockets. Now, the three words I would use to describe this lens is lightweight, lightweight, and affordable. And here's the thing. When you're using heavy lenses on set all day, it can become a wear and tear on your body. And always having a lightweight lens is one thing we as filmmakers love because it, it saves your body, it saves your arms, and you don't have to sacrifice quality for weight. Anamorphic lenses, however, were always chunky, they were always heavy, and that's why it made the 50mm so innovative. It was lightweight, it could fit on a gimbal, it didn't have to break the bank and it didn't have to break your body. And that's why I think the three words would be lightweight, lightweight again, and affordable. Now the dream project to use anamorphic lenses on, and probably what I would love to use this on, would be a western, or maybe a sci-fi western, something like Blade Runner, something like Star Wars, something that has that western anamorphic look, that spaghetti western. Well, when it first came out, nothing. You know, beggars can't be choosers, and when this lens came out, it was inexpensive and the only one out there. But now that this lens has been out here for a while, I would say I would love to see Suri come back and make this even more lightweight and more compact uh, than it is, because, you know, Lawa proved that it could be done with the nanomorphs. I'm excited to see what this arm race will do now that Lawa set the bar even further. 
So whether you're an aspiring filmmaker yearning to take your first steps into the world of anamorphic, someone who values the beauty of lightweight gear, or simply a creative soul looking for a new tool to play with, the Surrey 1.33 anamorphic f18 50mm lens is here to welcome you into the enchanting realm of anamorphic storytelling. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Beyond the Specs. Tune in next time for more tech, more talk, subscribe, and comment below on what you'd like to see next. Make that spaghetti western. Take care.